Global call for reparations is growing louder by the day as news emerges that Jamaica's government is set to demand reparations from Queen Elizabeth II and the British government for Great Britain's role in the transatlantic slave trade. A petition has been prepared and will be submitted in due course according to Olivia Basby Grange, Jamaica's Minister for Culture. The announcement comes not long after UN Human Rights Chief Michelle Bachelet urged global action, including reparations, to quote, make amends to people of African descent. And of course, it's long, long, long overdue. Uh, and I like the way that the Jamaican representatives have phrased it. They have said, quite frankly, that if we're prepared or if Britain is prepared to repay the enslavers or the descendants of the enslavers up until, uh, you know, just a few years ago, <laughs> yeah, then they must equally be prepared to repay the descendants of the enslaved. Over three million enslaved Africans were forcibly trafficked across the world by the British Empire to their colonies, including Jamaica, to work on plantations while being habitually brutalised and dehumanised. Yet for this heinous crime, the British state has never formally apologised, let alone taken steps to ensure reparatory justice. Meanwhile, when slavery ended, the UK government borrowed 20 million from the Treasury to compensate slave owners for the inconvenience of not having enslaved Africans to make them rich. The loan was one of the largest in British history, which was equivalent to £17 billion today and was at the time 40% of the UK's national budget. Yet according to the Daily Express newspaper based in the UK, 97% of their readers polled voted no to the question of whether Britain should pay reparations. If you speak to the average Briton who doesn't know the, the, the true history of Britain, they're proud of empire. They think empire is something good. So the idea that they must you know, make payment for their ill deeds, their wrongful deeds, that doesn't even occur to them. Britain is not uh, going to apologise because there is no compulsion to apologise. That's what we're dealing with. Uh, reparations is ultimately about power, okay? It's not about right or wrong or what's just or unjust. It's about who has the power to enforce their will. Jamaica is a small island nation with a population of just under 3 million that still has the British Queen as its unelected head of state. And while many people of African descent will welcome their latest demand for reparations, others will feel that it will take a lot more than a petition to get the British state to finally accept responsibility for their historic crimes. Ahmed Cabello, Press TV, London.